everybody, it's me, Moody Boo, and I am back with another top 10 list. No, no, you think I could keep it down to eight, but I couldn't yet again. This one is um, my top 10 inexpensive perfumes under $100, one ounce or more. Wow, that was kind of a long title, but it's true. So, um, and I don't... <clears throat> I've talked about some other inexpensive ones before and in, in reviews and things. And so I'm trying to make up a list of new, not new to the market, but ones that I haven't really talked about much or at all um, for this list so that it gives you some options. I mean, options are always good in this day and age, aren't they? So I do have 10, but I do have one honorable mention. I really wanted Halston's Amber for men, but that's like, if you can get a hold of any of it, people are charging ridiculous prices for it, so I am not all about that. So instead, I went ahead and got the Halston Amber Woman. Now, I made this an honorable mention, and honestly, for me, it wouldn't have been on the list at all. It's not my favorite. It's Amber Alibinum sandalwood there's some other wood notes some musk um it says there's some fruit and florals in the dry down i don't really get that what i get is a slightly metallic almost soapy kind of an amber the reason i made it an honorable mention is two things one um i didn't care for it much but i did try it out on a few friends of mine um, and one male and two females said they really liked it and there was nothing wrong with it, even though I was like, I'm not sure if I like it. I do kind of, and then I don't kind of. So anyway, like I said, it's, it's mainly all about the amber, the alibinum, and some woody notes and musk. Now, the second reason I put this on the list is because of the price. And that's because it's $10 on Fragrance X website. $10. So that in of itself is enough for me to put it on the list. Even though it's not my favorite, there are a few other people that I know that really enjoyed it. And I love the original Halston. So, um, and $10. Really? Yeah. So, and, and these perfumes too, this list, I'm trying to gear it more towards springtime. I'm not going to differentiate between uh, spring nights or spring days. That's totally up to you. This was one, though, that I would definitely wear at night um, on a spring day. Even though it says it's amber and alibinum and woods, it really is a just a kind of a bright, metallic um, kind of an amber. Kind of fresh, a little freshness in there. I'm not sure from what. But, yeah, it's not a bad perfume. Performance is, you know. But for 10 bucks, are you serious? And the bottle is really cool. So there's my honorable mention. Oh, that scared me. Okay, next. <laughs> the next one is from DKNY. And this is DKNY My New York. Now, I think I think I bought this in Hawaii when we were at like a Macy's or something like that. Um, because my L'Occitane store had closed down. Oh, still kicks me in the gut just to think about that. But, um, and so I was just like, I got to buy some perfume while I'm in Hawaii. I have to. It's another thing that I must do. I got to buy earrings, a ring, and perfume. That's just the way it is. And of course, this year we don't get to go. So, because of coronavirus. Sad for me. But... There are more important issues out there right now, so I'm not worried about it. We'll go next year. Maybe. You know, hopefully this whole chaos and madness will be done by then. And just, I hope everybody's safe out there too. So, um, <clears throat> this is raspberry patchouli, and there's some pink pepper and vanilla and musk and some white florals. <sighs> this is really pretty. It For me, it's just a fruity, uplifting very bright kind of patchouli 
And I know a lot of people don't think that patchouli is good for springtime, but why? Why? One more time. Why? I wear patchouli in springtime all the time during the day. Ooh, but I do. And this one I wear during the day. This one I tried to get rid of two or three times. I was going to give it to my nieces and I never could do it. As soon as I smell it, it's like, uh, no, to hell with my nieces. This one's staying in my collection. Oh. Performance is really good on this. And the price is another good one. For a one ounce bottle, you can get this on Fragrance Net for $16. 16. Seriously, $16. I think I paid $20 for mine, but who cares? It's really good stuff. Check it out. Or don't, you know, do what you need to do. All right, next. The next one is from Opus Oils, and this is Tramp. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. Oh my God, I think I'm losing my mind. This, I believe, is from the burlesque line, if I'm not mistaken. She, oh, she, oh, she has a, a, a lot of different lines that have themes to them, um, you know, like burlesque, and, and uh, I don't remember the name of the, the theme that the vampire one is in that I have from Opus Oils and Charlie I think is also from a different line completely. So I she's so creative. Kedra Hart is so creative. And oh my God, I gotta wear Tramp more. This is another rediscovery. I gotta do a eight great rediscoveries. I think every time I do a video I say that. I gotta do an eight great rediscovery perfumes. And then I forget. And then I remember when I do one of these and I smell this and I think, why am I not wearing this? What is wrong with my brain? This is vanilla and lemon blossom. There's some sandalwood and some patchouli in the dry down and some sugar and oh, it is delightful. It's verging on gourmand, but it doesn't, well, yeah, it does kind of make it there. It does kind of jump off the edge, but it has a parachute. So it lands lightly in gourmand, gourmand land. Gourmand, gourmand, yes, gourmand land. Oh, I think I'm getting a little high from all these perfumes. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just I'm getting dementia. I can't tell you for sure. But anyway. Or I'm just tongue-tied. That happens. I am getting old. I'm 56. And sometimes shit comes from here. And when it comes out here, it's not exactly what I intended. So that is the way it is when you get older. <laughs> so beautiful stuff. Performance is really good with this one. And Kedra Hart's prices are exceptionally good, especially for the juice you get. For one ounce, it's $75 on uh, Opus Oils website. Completely worth it. I have got to expand my Opus Oils collection because these are incredible, incredible. All right, next up. The next one is from Namat, and this is Amber. Now, I talk about this a little bit in my uh, updated Middle Eastern perfume collection, but this, I don't, it says it's just amber. Now remember, amber is an accord, the actual stone of an amber, amber stone. Yeah, um, doesn't smell like anything but stone. You know, that has no smell. So it is all up to the perfumer's interpretation. Problem is, this smells like musk, not amber to me. It definitely, and so did the oil though. Um, for me, amber, there's usually a little bit of spice in there. If, if nothing else, a little benzoin or cinnamon or something like that, and usually some vanilla, um, but not always vanilla. Um, but anyway, and there's usually, I don't know, you know, labdanum or something like that, maybe even patchouli in there to create different kinds of amber accords. This is not that to me. 
This is all white musk, but it's amazing. This reminds me of back in the 70s. Oh, I just remembered another perfume that was very important to me was Jovan Musk Oil. Jovan Musk Oil, I had two perfumes. One was Love's Baby Soft <laughs> and the other was Jovan Musk Oil. And Love's Baby Soft, I kind of wore when I was feeling very lighthearted. It just smelled like sweet baby powder is all. Um, but Jovan Musk Oil smelled more mature, more mysterious. I wore it more at night. Now you gotta remember I was like 13, 14 or something like that. And as I recall, it came in a little glass um, bottle, roller ball. And that's how you put it on, was a roller baller. And then you'd rub in your, well, that's what this reminds me of. And I, love Jovan Musk Oil. I love it. And I love this. I am whack out crazy about it. And this performs great. It doesn't perform as well as the little tiny oil um, in the, in this is the EDP and that's the oil. The oil really, really, really um, is strong. So, uh, but this is really good. First blast, it's very alcohol. You get that alcohol at first, but that goes away within five to 10 minutes tops. And then it's all about that beautiful, musky, warm, slightly sweet kind of a, oh, this is beautiful stuff. $50 on Namat's website. And it, it, this got to me within a week. So gorgeous stuff. All right, next. Now, I'm not putting these in any particular order because um, I always change my mind. And it stresses me out when I have to put them in an order a lot of times, unless it's really clear in my head before I start. Um, if I've got to figure it out as I'm putting a list together, you know, which one and be testing them for days ahead, it's just too stressful for me. I, I can't do it. I can't do it right now. I am busy, I'm working, I'm a grandmother, I'm a wife, I'm a mother, and I just, I have no time to do a lot of things that I would do if I could do this full time, but I can't. But Hermes has done it yet again. This is Eau de Marvais Blue. And this is a one ounce bottle. This is just aquatic notes. There's some wood and patchouli but it's blended incredibly well. You do get the patchouli, but it's almost as if the patchouli is growing along a northern ocean coastline and the sea spray is constantly drenching it with the uh, ocean water to, and the weather never gets hot enough for it to completely dry out <clears throat> and to have the heat make the patchouli aroma bloom. So it's always dampened down all the time. That's what this reminds me of. It, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Completely unisex. Performance on this isn't as good as like Elixir de Marvais. It's about the same as Eau de Marvais, the, um, the clear and orange one. Maybe? I have them all, so most of them. I mean, I don't have them all because there's some, you know, limited edition ones I don't have. But And I just love these bottles. I don't know why, but I love them. Love them, love them. So anyway, I, uh, really good stuff. Very unisex. And um, I have only had this for since beginning of winter. So I haven't even begun to wear this stuff. I've only tested it in the winter time. I have not even begun to try it in the springtime in the hot weather yet. I can't wait because I loved it in the winter time testing it. Beautiful. Why am I whispering? Weird. And Eau de Marvais Blue, um, that is like $72 right in there, 70 to $75 on multiple sites for one ounce. The next one is Sex Goddess by 4160 Tuesdays. And maybe I should have picked a different one from this house because guys out there are going to, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be spraying any perfume called Sex Goddess all over me. <laughs> but you know, if you're brave and you love the perfume, you should do it. Just say it's called Sex God.
anyway, so this is raspberry and musk and, and blackberries and plum and there's some violet and oak moss and blah, 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 blah. Honestly, for me, it's all about the berries, the plum and the musk. But it's, it's not a real sweet kind of a perfume. It's slightly tart at the very top and it never gets very sweet throughout the entire wearing of it. Gosh, this is really nice stuff. This is another rediscovery. I know. What is up with that? I just, it, when my husband and I, when my son was moving out, my youngest son and his son were moving out. We just were like, okay, we got to we got to redo a bunch of shit around this house. He's lived here for five and a half years. And it's just, we got a lot of remodeling, a lot of things that we want to do, decluttering everything that he left here and stuff. So, because kids always leave their shit when they move out. Uh, at least they're trash. And uh, so, anyway, and then... My husband wanted to build me some shelves, more shelves in the bedroom, because I need them. And lo and behold, I found this, like, two drawers that were just full of perfumes I had stashed back there. Just ridiculous. So anyway, if you love a very pretty berry, heavy on the berry, little lighter on the musk until the dry down, once the dry down happens, the musk comes out a little more, and so, so do some of the other notes that are in there. But it's all berries and musk for me, and it's just beautiful. Performance is okay, uh, about six hours in warm weather, but what do you expect? I mean, I don't know if I want to wear a perfume, a beast mode spring perfume, other than Coney Island. Um at that time of year because I like to change up my perfumes uh, during the hot weather especially I'll wear something light and appropriate for work during the day and then at night all bets are off you never know what kind of shit I'm gonna put on I'm never gonna put shit on I mean as far as my perfumes which perfume I'm gonna put on I don't know why I felt the need to clarify that I'm sure you're all very intelligent you can figure that one out on your own oh. And this bottle was $90 on Indie Scents. So, I love Indie Scents. Really pretty stuff. All right, next up. So the next one is my second bottle of this, Wicked Wahine um, Hibiscus by, I think they're called, yeah, Royal Hawaiian. Now this I get at the ABC stores. I don't like just the regular Wicked Wahine. Um, hibiscus is the one that knocked my socks off. So this one is amber and there's some dried fruits and vanilla. And I think on the box it said there was candied almonds or candied nuts as well. And you do get that just slightly. It's just, just a hint of some kind of candied nut in the background. I wouldn't be able to distinguish what type, but it's there. It is definitely there. Now, when I first spray this, it's a, almost a little soapy, floral, kind of a sweet amber. But then it dries down and the candied nuts come out and that amber settles down and you get some more vanilla and more of the fruits. And it's just beautiful. Now, I bought this, no, yes, the first bottle I went through really quickly. It was like under three years. So then when we went back to Hawaii that fourth year, I bought another bottle. And I haven't used it that much since then because I have so many perfumes now. Performance is really, really good considering it's a $20 bottle of perfume. Seriously, $20. And ABC, I think in person, you can still get the hibiscus, but I'm not seeing it on their website now. So it's on, I found it for on multiple websites, but one of them is called welcometotheislands.com. And you can buy it, like I said, for $20. And this is two and a half ounces, I believe, for this bottle. And this is one of my favorite cheapies of all time. It's really pretty. 
very unisex. <sighs> I love doing these videos. I love inexpensive perfume. The next one is from Banana Republic, and this is Dark Cherry and Amber. This I got because of the cherry. I was like, and the price. It's like, this is crazy inexpensive. I need to get this. And I read a bunch of re reviews on uh, Fragrantica and I think some other places as well. And I'm telling you, now look at this bottle. Crazy pretty. I just love it. It's heavy too. And this is cherry and amber and there's some cedar. And it says there's some like candied notes in the bottom and some florals. I don't get a lot of it. It's when I first spray it, you get the cherry for sure. Definitely get the cherry. It's a beautiful, almost liqueur kind of a cherry. But that goes away pretty quickly and the amber, the cedar comes out and pretty much stays that way. It does get a little bit of sweetness um, in the dry down, not as much as it at the top. Um, oh, I'm smelling it now. It smells so good. But it's, it's a little on the verge of being a celebrity frag type of smell. You know, the, there's a lot of those that have the, the fruits and the amber and a little bit of woods. But this combination in this perfume blows the celebrity frags out the door as far as I'm concerned. Most of them anyway, not all of them. There's some really good ones out there. Oh, this is really pretty. Performance is okay. I mean, in that regard, you get what you pay for. Um, usually, in my experience, if you have a beast mode, inexpensive perfume, um, really inexpensive perfume, it's usually not a good thing. You wish it was a little lighter, a little toned down. But, because that white musk, that's usually what does it for me. It gets a little screechy if there's too much in there. So, this is gorgeous stuff. <sighs> beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful and completely unisex. I I don't know why I pay over a hundred dollars for a bottle perfume. I need to contemplate that. <laughs> for two and a half ounces on fragrance net it's thirty two dollars. Seriously. Thirty two. Oh my god it really is pretty. So if you like fruity woody kind of perfumes you really should check this out. All right, next. The next one is by Joe Malone, and that's Mimosa and Cardamom. Now, I'm not going to talk a lot about this because I already did a Joe Malone house review, but it's just Mimosa and Cardamom, and there's a little tonk in there. It's slightly sweet. It's light. It's airy. It's fresh without the citruses in there. Um, but I think the Cardamom and the Mimosa just give it a little bit of freshness. It's not real powdery, which I appreciate. And performance is, is you know, I'd say six, eight hours again. That's kind of the standard for a lot of my spring summer perfumes. Um, beautiful stuff. You can get a one ounce bottle of this for $65 on Fragrance Net or pay full retail at uh, Nordstrom's of $70 for a one ounce bottle. It's really a pretty perfume. Very nice stuff. Good performance. All right. Next. I don't think it's last. I think it's next. Did I do 12? Maybe I did 12. I thought I did 10 with an honorable mention. But it feels like I'm still going on and on and on and on. All right. Next up. The next one is by Malin and Goats. Goats? It's probably Goats. It's probably not Goats. And this is Dark Rum. I know by the name you wouldn't think it's a spring perfume, but I wear my boozy perfumes year-round. It's plum and leather and rum. <clears throat> There's some milky notes in there and some amber and some citrus and a little patchouli. <clears throat> Honestly, for me, it's all about the plum, the leather, and the boozy notes and a little bit of milk. And it does dry down, and you do get that amber accord a little bit at the very deep dry down. And it does dry up just a little bit. It's not quite so sweet and moist like it is in the, the beginning and mid notes. Gorgeous stuff. I put this in because 
I, I wear boozy perfumes year round. This performs about average 68 hours, um, you know, usually elbow to arm's length in sillage. It's gorgeous stuff. I've got to wear this more. I say that about all of my perfumes. <laughs> this is $95 at Nordstrom. And I know that's kind of cheating because I think Nordstrom has free shipping. So that would truly keep it under a hundred, but I didn't check on shipping. Shipping might put it over the top. If that's the case, I apologize. Do not flog me in the square. I beg you. All right, next, last, last, finally, last, number 528, coming right up. The last one is by Atelier Cologne, and this is Pacific Lime. Anything with lime in the title, I am all over it. I love wearing lime notes in spring and summertime. Love it. This is lime and coconut. You put the lime in the coconut and stir them all up. You put the lime in the coconut and stir them all up. I said, Doctor, what's it going to take? I said, Doctor, to relieve my belly ache. I said, Doctor. Okay, I'm back. Anyway, and some lemon, I think, is in there. And there's a little bit of green notes. It's beautiful stuff. But honestly, all I get, I don't get a lot of co coconut. It does give it, there is a little tropical feel to it, but for me, it's all about the lime and it smells like a lime musk. Really pretty stuff. I wish I got more coconut, but I don't. Um, but I haven't had it that long. You can tell I have had it like a month, maybe. So I've only tested it four times, I think, um, five times. And, and it's really hard to test spring, summer perfumes in the winter time. They just don't do the same thing they would do um, in warmer weather. So, and a one ounce bottle is $80 at Sephora or Nordstrom. And you probably could find it cheaper than that in, on eBay or something, but it is really pretty. I'm gonna be rocking the shiznit out of this this spring. So I have so many that I need to wear this spring. Oh my God. All right. So anyway, um, I'm going to call it a day and I hope everybody stays safe out there. And uh, just remember to use your own nose and wash your hands. Social distance. Be responsible. All right. I hate to preach. Okay. But I do that a lot. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.